I am the roar before every storm. An inkling of doom for those who dare to be my enemy. A source of hope for those who are my friends. My every move calculated, thought out, planned. My every turn designed to strike fear into the hearts of those who challenge me. I thrive in an environment known to man. The day my dominion, the night my cloak. Conceived by those who've seen it all, designed by those who've done it all, flown by only the very best. The only time you'll ever see me is when you look over your shoulder, because that is where you'll find me. Always on your six, always on target. For I am thunder itself. No air force in the world opts to design an aircraft itself. It is a long and tedious task, based on countless man-hours and innumerable resources. Air forces the world over buy off-the-shelf solutions and then tailor them to their own operational requirements. Challenges such as sanctions and poor economic conditions became the need that justified the Pakistan Air Force foraying into the world of aircraft production. The JF-17 program is the story of a nation's drive to persevere and a service's commitment to honor its promise of safeguarding the skies that it has been entrusted with. In this process, a world-class fighter was born, a fighter that will be at the heart of every developing country's air defense picture, based on its superior operational capabilities at a cost which is one-third of its competition. The JF-17 Thunder program is the culmination or rather the manifestation of the requirements of a world-class, battle-proven air force that has traditionally operated only top-of-the-line aircraft. Aircraft which have been produced by some of the best companies in the world. The JF-17 is a product that was designed through the learning and feedback of those pilots who had flown nearly every state-of-the-art military attack fighter available to man in every operational environment and condition known to an operational pilot. What resulted is a platform able to flawlessly perform in every situation or circumstance that it is tasked with. Air staff requirement was to have airframe from Chinese aviation industry and the avionics items should come from the Western origin. However, once we started to select those items, we found out that the Western equipment was not being releasable because of sanctions. Now, this was the time we had to take a decision. And we started to look for the Chinese avionics system. The available equipment from the China was not only qualified, but also matchable to the Western equipment. So our leadership decided that now, not only that we should have the airframe from China, we should also have the avionics equipment from China which are not compromising on our quality or our ASR requirement. However, I must share it with you that some of the releasable avionics equipment still are on this aircraft and it is making an excellent gel of Chinese and the Western system together on one aircraft. When considering the JF-17 Thunder, a buyer needs to assimilate some key considerations. The JF-17s in their very short operational history have amassed considerable experience, largely due to the diversity of operational requirements generated by the features of the country flying them. The geographical diversity alone of a country like Pakistan, where temperature considerations range from minus 50 degrees to 55 degrees, and terrain that includes some of the highest mountain ranges, 
to plains that boast the most fertile soil, to the deserts that have seen some of the worst droughts, to the sea, which is a source of life for a country that relies heavily on trade for its existence. Make the JF-17 battle ready for any country and any operational environment in the world. If there is one thing the Pakistan Air Force truly excels at and is renowned for, it is the relentless filtration process that it puts its pilots through. Only the best make it out, and then they are put through some of the toughest training regiments pilots have ever known. Not only this, but the battle history of the Pakistan Air Force is for the world to see. Its pilots have dominated the skies over Southeast Asia, and some of them have even scored multiple kills in the skies over the Middle East. In exercises all over the world, its pilots have more than held their own. Could the pilots brought up in this tradition demand anything less? From air interdiction to air superiority, from bombing runs to sinking ships, these pilots have done it all and have the trophies to prove it. A poignant reminder of its operational readiness is its recent induction into CCS, the Elite Combat Commander School. Combat Commander School is a place where we train the combat leadership of Pakistan Air Force. This is an institution where we have all the platforms of Pakistan Air Force available, which are pitched against each other, and that is the environment from where we take out the best of the best to ultimately lead the Pakistan Air Force. Combat Commander School is the toughest proving ground in the world. Real world scenarios are simulated and played out. The instructors are ruthless in their evolutions and to impress them, Aircraft and aircrew alike have to be at their very best. It is a fact that CCS operates only those weapon systems which are combat ready. The fact that GF-17 is here and holding its own is a proof that GF-17 is ready to take on anything that comes its way. It may seem incredible to the casual observer that the JF-17 has been able to quickly take on the operational requirements of the Pakistan Air Force. But if one takes into account some of its unique features, there will be no doubt as to its prowess. Paramount among them is the cockpit experience. Its ergonomics are what define decision-making in a combat scenario. The JF-17 cockpit was designed keeping this in mind, allowing pilots to perform their duties with utmost ease and flexibility to cater to evolving scenarios. JF-17 incorporates full glass cockpit with smart heads-up display and three smart multiple function displays that provide the pilot with the ability to switch from one set of information to another in coherence with the tactical situation that follows with the help of task controls and upfront control panel. Maintaining a fighter squadron can be both a joy and a pain depending on the type of system being maintained. The PAF was no exception to this. And in designing the JF-17, special attention was paid to keep maintenance exceptionally low and the aircraft incredibly quick on the turnaround time. The best part of maintaining the JF-17 aircraft is that it is modular. It has direct bearing in reducing the turnaround time of the aircraft to one of the lowest in the industry. All it requires is just one man to maintain the aircraft. The JF-17 incorporates 1553 and 1760 data bus architectures. Its complete avionic suite is based upon the dual and quad redundant concept. It has capacity of 100% avionics upgrade for future requirements. In record time, the JF-17 has been able to take on some of the most daunting challenges that it has ever been put up against. It has taken on all roles within the PAF and is performing each in a manner worthy of the PAF. The weapons package of a JF-17 is truly impressive 
and allows it to deal with evolving situations rapidly and effectively. On a typical air defense mission, its wings carry the PL-5E2s and the SD-10 BVR missiles. For ground attack roles, it has at its disposal a broad choice of options that range from general-purpose bombs, anti-runway bombs that can make short work of any structure or vehicle. In the anti-shipping role, the JF-17 is equipped to carry multiple C-802s that give it the capability to attack maritime targets at will. Its guns are twin-barrel 23mm that allow it to wreak havoc on any target. A mixture of the above allow it to effectively perform multiple roles in a single mission. A modern fighter does not stagnate, it evolves. It is scalable and each evolution is more potent than its predecessors. Every airframe produced till date can be completely upgraded to the most current evolution. The Block 2 aircraft offer us even more optimized aircraft systems based on the experiences that we gained through Block 1 aircraft. Additionally, we have the air to refueling and the dual seater on the cards. The Block 3 aircraft are envisaged to improve our combat punch even further through the incorporation of a targeting pod, an active ESA radar and additional arsenal of weapons. The entire JF-17 program bears the hopes, aspirations and hard work of two nations, each of which have brought it to fruition through their collective investment of every resource imaginable. We put in our best. We have pushed in huge financial and human resource into this. And we're very proud and we're very happy that the product that is received fulfills majority of the PF requirements. Our endeavor is to get an aircraft which fulfills the entire spectrum of air operations. We'll continue to develop this program. We understand that this is the destiny of Pakistan Air Force. When a JF-17 is bought, it signals that the buyer is intuitive enough to appreciate the fact that they are buying cutting-edge technology at a price one-third of its competitors. The JF-17 is poised for dominance in the skies and years and years of happy landings. <laughs>